always give more value than you're pitching. Absolutely. Because what that does, you're, you're, I mean, you're not building a business for free and you're not building, you know, uh, a nonprofit organization from the, you know, come from your own home. Right. Exactly. So what you're doing is you're running a real business. And when it comes to marketing, marketing, you know, people get confused with marketing and stuff like that. Like, Oh, when should I sell or when should I, but the reality is the more value you give, the better, but you can't always give value, 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 value. No, value. no. You don't no. make any money. You won't. You got you to be able to give a call to action in a way, but the call to action has to be guided toward the individual that is looking for that problem to be solved. Absolutely. Right. So I said diamond coaching earlier. What is diamond coaching? Well, we coach people. We know we do one-on-ones. We get, you know, we look at their business. We, we do a lot. Right. We, we really pour ourselves out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we have great success stories from people who have actually gotten great results and have gone on their own and made six figures and so on, so on and so forth from that co- you know, coaching program. Right. Because it's intense. But understand that that's serving a purpose. But that's not what when you create content is that we, we can't just say, hey, this whole session is about diamond coaching. No, 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 no. We have to figure out what the problem is first. Yes. So that's why we like to answer questions. We have to see, like, hey, what is this person struggling with? What is that person struggling with? Yes. That is the most important thing that you can focus on yes. is the problem of your customer avatar. Yes. You look at that and you say, this is the problem. How can I create the content to solve that problem? So when I create the call to action, it is linked to solving that problem. Right. And okay. I like that you um, talked about the value, value, value pitch. Yeah. So basically, the if I had a whiteboard and drew it out, okay, it would be V, 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 P, which is value, right. value, value, three pieces of content, videos, written posts, whatever. But that's the formula. Three of them is going to be full of value. And then you pitch, right? So you're going to ask for the sale in the pitch type of video. Okay. And then you rinse and repeat over and over and over again. You keep this pattern mm-hmm. going, Donald, Absolutely. for as long as you can. Like right now Absolutely. we have um, our customers who purchase our 90 day content marketing ca- challenge for $500. They actually are running right now for 90 days. And what they're doing is the first 30 days is all about value. And so they're all creating these value pieces of content to brand themselves. And so what they're doing is they're getting themselves known out there and they're creating all this value because their audience don't know them from a hole in a wall. Exactly. So you've got to establish the know, like, and trustability with your audience. Okay. Because in order for them to actually buy from you, you've got to give them enough reason to believe in you and want to buy from you. Got that? So don't be afraid to ask for a call to action. And a call to action doesn't have to be monetary. A call to ask could be, hey, you want my free chat GBT cheat sheet? Click the link below. <laughs> yep. There's no money in that. And, and it's, a right? great, it's a great way to really develop new leads too. It is, right? So, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Or, hey, check out this free training I got. And you have this recorded webinar for HBA that you want to give away. There you go. That's a call to action. There will be some money in it because when they watch that webinar, they're going to be enticed to want to buy and sign Yo, up. Yeah. <laughs> But it has to be linked to the problem that people are dealing with. It does. Right? Yes. Very, very important. Yes. It solves that problem. This is why the customer avatar is important in the niche specific. Okay? Yes. It has to be niche specific. If it's going to be a network marketing niche, what problems can we solve for network marketers? I'll give you an example. Right? We're a little coaching here tonight. I'll give you an example. If I'm focusing on a network marketing niche, the problem they deal with is they hate the prospect. How do I solve that problem with content? Feel their pain, understand their pain, and say, you know what? I, you know, I, 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 I can only imagine how you feel when you're going out there and you're trying to ask these people to listen to you and they're not listening to you at all. And you're getting turned down left and right. I've been there. Oh, I can only imagine what you're going through. But what if I can show you a way where you can still profit from people who say no? By giving them exactly what they want. You see how I turned it around? You see? That's solving a problem. That's pulling them away from what? Pain? 
into pleasure. Absolutely. Their brain flips. Okay. There's more psychological marketing type stuff that I'm sharing with you. Right. Even weight loss, even, you know, uh, bodybuilding, whatever it is, you have to solve the problem. You do. And link the solution to that problem. Yes. That's okay. how it works, guys. Yeah. That's how it works. If you understand what I'm saying, if you get what I'm saying, you, you can make a lot of money. Exactly. Plain and simple. That's why we always ask people first, you know, what is your challenge? Because everybody doesn't have the same shoe size. Everybody has a different challenge. Yep. Might be prospecting, might be, you know, bringing people in and keeping and retaining retention. Oh, they hate their upline. They hate their upline. They're not yeah. getting support. Or maybe they invested thousands upon thousands of dollars into a coaching program that promised to do something and they didn't do it. Yeah. Right? We've been, hey, we've been there. We've been and there. We can relate. You know? Or so, perhaps they just really haven't found their flow. That's another problem. Right. We've dealt with students that have done that. They just, they get things going, then they stop. They start, they stop. Or we can relate to that. The they can start, they get in the business, right, Rich? And they got things moving and then they quit. Well, but they got the gurus bleeding them dry. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, that, and, and it's frustrating. It is. But, you know, that's the thing. If you know your customer avatar's problems, you know exactly what kind of content to create to magnetically attract them to you. 